Well, WJZ continues to follow the latest developments in artificial intelligence and its impact on our lives. Today, regulating facial recognition technology took center stage inside the Baltimore City Council chambers. Paul Gessler is at City Hall and tells us what some council members want to do and the red flags the city's law department raised. Baltimore City had a moratorium on facial recognition that expired last year. Now the conversation here at City Hall is shifting on how to best regulate this technology many critics say is susceptible to bias. The software is touted by some as a layer of security to keep people safe and businesses secure. But some on Baltimore City Council want to put so-called guardrails on how facial recognition is used. I realize the dangers of surveillance. Facial recognition technology will not make any of us safer in Baltimore City. Many testified against its use altogether, but legislation filed by Councilman Christopher Burnett would require registration to use it. It's unclear right now just how prevalent the technology is in Baltimore. We don't fully know the answer to that, and that's what we're seeking to uncover is how large scale is this? The bill would also require notification at entrances and allow folks to have the decision the autonomy to say I'm going to support your business I'm going to come into this business or not opponents say the software is imperfect even biased against people of color how many people think it's number one the state's office of public defender tried to prove so Wednesday so that person's not in that picture at all but the human element Burnett says creates mistakes and even wrongful arrest we need to make sure that there is no overreach and that the government is protecting our citizens all of them following last month's double shooting at Bowie State University school officials they there listed facial recognition improvements as part of their enhanced safety plan. Meanwhile, some private businesses like Madison Square Garden in New York City have already used it to deny entry to those involved in lawsuits against them. In the name of trying to create a safer society, we may actually be creating more harm to people um, through misidentification, through the erosion of civil rights and civil liberties, and just the misuse and abuse of that data. The bills also address procurement, establish a community advisory commission, and create annual reporting guidelines. Outside City Hall, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.